Hello guys and welcome back. Uh, in this section of the video we're going to take the strap and we're going to use the Scotch Bright hand pads that I've got here to do the next stage which is basically trying to finish it now. Um, when we use certainly the maroon one if we go in one direction only you tend to start putting uh, like lines back into the steel uh, and it gives you that nice sort of brushed effect. Uh, if you use the, the grey one afterwards, it's going to get a little bit finer. Uh, and then if you use the, the one I'm experimenting with, it gets even finer still. Um, but because I want to just do the two-tone effect where I'm going to want to have these little bits in the middle um, as a chrome type finish, um, I want to have the contrast. So I want to make sure that these are still, you know, uh, fairly rough in many respects. Uh, so the technique I use is just all by hand, very straightforward, nothing technical about this. Um, now obviously this, this bracelet is curved, so I have two methods. I've got a bit when I put it on the table and do it, and I've got a bit where I do it in the hand. So I'll always start off in hand, just get my thumb, a good purchase behind the cloth, offer it up, and what I'm doing is only rubbing one way okay if we start rubbing in circles or we start rubbing in the opposite direction you won't get the sort of effect that I'm trying to demonstrate here okay so we're just going to rub that one like that doesn't take much at all if you've done the prep works right to start with in the first part the finishing bit is a lot easier and a lot more straightforward so just take it link by link a little bit of a rub. These bottom ones become a little bit more fiddly. What I then tend to do, put it down on the table. Now I use this sort of action. So using the whole width of the thumb if you like. And I'm gonna go like that with the Scotch Bright. Sometimes it's easier to fold it over. You get a better purchase that way. Uh, but um, it's whatever you feel is is, is right for you. So I'm just going to do this. Okay. There we have it already it's looking quite shiny but it does have these sort of lines in but it's that sort of matte effect or brush effect that I'm getting so once we once we polish these up you're going to get the contrast it looks quite nice and really all I'm trying to do is show you the different types of finishes you can achieve using the basic equipment that I've uh, that I've got here okay so that's it on this bit look for the stills on the next section uh, and then we're going to go on to polishing the little bits Okay, in this section, we're going to take the middle sections of these um, this bracelet and try and put the mirror finish on them. You may notice something different about my setup now, and that is that my rotary tool is mounted in my vise. Um, it's quite stable in there, although it's not best. Uh, this has come about by some good advice I've received from Riz Sushi, which is a watch forum, a Japanese watch forum. Uh, if you've not been there, check it out. Uh, this is why I'm doing the videos in the first place. It's a very friendly place, lots of help, lots of advice. Uh, the reason for this being mounted is it's far easier to actually offer up the, the bracelet to the machine that it is trying to do it by hand, that I've done it predominantly um, up until this point. So, what I'm going to do, we've just got the felt wheel on here at the moment. It's on a low speed. We're going to start it up, put a little bit of polishing compound on, and we're going to start working away on these pieces. Uh, normally I would have masked uh, this up uh, to get it perfect and I will do that later on so you can see the, the end result uh, in the final photographs rather than spend a long time trying to put the mask masking around the, these bits now. Okay so we started up, we've got a bit of 
paste on. It's only a little bit, that's all you need. And we're going to just offer this up. Now what I must say is this is rotating this way, okay? It's important to make sure it's going to rotate away from you and not towards you. And equally you need to try and offer it up near the bottom as possible. Try not to keep too still, keep it moving all the time. Try and get under there. Putting on the bits that are going to be visible. Okay. Already we're getting a probably can't see that very well. Get in the mirror finish. Okay, so already we're getting two that are looking pretty reasonable. And I'm by no means finished yet. Now what we'd normally do is I'd go over with the blue one and then I'd use the white one which is a fine. Now ideally, really, you should change your your felt bob. Uh, but if you haven't bought many like I haven't, I'd just dress it up with this. So I'm just going to remove some of the old. Put a little bit of white on. Again, just a bleb like that, that's all you need. Repeat the process. Okay, now it probably doesn't come across very well on camera, but they are a lot shinier already. Now what I will do is I'll finish all these off and make it look pretty, and then take a photo of it so you can see it at the end, the, the final result. Uh, the one other thing that I would have shown you, well I will show you now, is just the, the cotton. So it's like one of these, this is just a used one. Normally you'd go over that just to polish it up at the very end, the final, final flash. Uh, and really what you want to try and be doing is cleaning the, the bracelet between things. So I would normally now put this in my ultrasonic, clean it up and then come back and offer it. Any remaining grit that's in there could come out, certainly in the last, pass, the last passes that you're doing. And again, scratch it and you don't really want that. Uh, so the cotton one, it's very soft. It's just going to polish it, it's going to make it shine a little bit more, that's all. Okay. So it's come a long way already since the the days of it being gold uh, and then once I finish with it it'll look really good I think and that's it really um, this is how I do it I don't mean that this is the way it should be done it's just the way I've I've taught myself uh, I get good results or results that I'm happy with and perhaps I'm not using the right techniques or the most professional techniques but it's how to do it nice and cheaply if you want to have a go this thing costs 20 pounds in UK money 
these are only two or three pounds a bar the other peripherals are not much at all uh, and if you're into sort of vintage Seacos like I am they generally come and they're a little bit uh, worn out and it's nice to have a go certainly if they're cheap enough so if you do want to attempt some of this then perhaps buy or take one of your your cheaper watches and have a go anybody can do this it's, it doesn't take much just a steady hand and a procedure you've got to think that you've got to use the grade so start off rough go down smoother and smoother and smoother um, that way you will get the best results what sometimes happens is which is I think I said in one of the other videos is towards the end here if you've not done the work at the start when you actually come to polish that's when you start seeing scratches that you've missed now you either live with those or you have to start all over again it just depends on how good or bad you want it to be thank you for sticking with me uh, hope this as uh, you found this useful and uh, perhaps I'll do some more in the future. Thank you.